I was raised in a hard life. I had some rough times when I was a teenager. I don't know, you know, just a lot of things. No one's ever all the way healed. My neighbors, they don't know. They resorted to pain as a motivator to get me to act the way they wanted to. I believe in the sacredness of nature and the sacredness of the earth. There is no great God up above somewhere that tells you what to do. Everyone's path can be different. That's one of the beautiful things. I have been married four times and none of them succeeded. I did not conform to the patriarchy and it was not well received. It doesn't bother me. I'm perfectly happy by myself. I'm both a druid and a witch. I am a warrior and a druid. Being a warrior means that I am a protector. Um, I'm, I'm a licensed clinical social worker. When there is a need, I step into the breach. My vision was better, and now it's not. I couldn't do some of the things that I'd done before. I still had a lot of capacity, and that did not mean that I couldn't be a warrior. Because I can't see with the eye, I learned to see with my heart. As a Catholic, I loved the beauty of the Mass and the ritual, but I just came to realize that I did not believe that Jesus needed to die for my sins. I started out as a witch. Now I'm a Druid. There is a sense of being close to nature and being connected to that ancient wisdom. I can see trees, I can see the sky, I can touch the earth. These things are real. And so I think that God would manifest through those things. I'm a mom, a teacher, and a witch. I was a preschool teacher for 10 years. I'm a member of the PTA. Witchcraft for me is just a way of life. and. My mom's always been interested in spirits. My younger son, I think, is very curious about it. He has a lot of potential being young and open-minded. My condition is called Asperger's syndrome. It is a form of high-functioning autism. I was born into a family who did not understand it. I spent my childhood under the tyranny of this parent who was trying to teach me how to be quote unquote normal. I was in an abusive environment, which made me explore. How do I be in relationship to spirit? And for me, it's through sacred drumming. Drumming is an act of worship. I was seriously raped and beaten when I was a teenager. For years, I didn't ever say anything about it. And I think a lot of that strength that I had came from my relationship to the sacred in nature. I work with teenage girls, all abused and neglected traumatically. I've been doing that for about 25 years. people don't realize that prayer technically is a form of magic because they're asking for a change in the forces unseen. I now work with crystals. It's another kind of link to talking to the supernatural. If I'm working with a pendulum, I'm not talking to the crystal itself. I'm talking to the entity that it's linked to. The spell has to be very specific. First of all, you have to form the intent. That's the most important thing. Write your spell. Go to your altar. Thank the god and the goddess for listening and let it go in faith that it will happen. In paganism, there is this element of nature healing. 
and homeopathic remedies, you want to contemplate transformation or change because the cauldron is change. I don't believe in static energy. Dance is an integral part of ritual. Having a way to push the energy through the body to make it more powerful. We live in such a modern time that we shouldn't have any fears about being who we are, but we do live in a scary world and there still is violence out there against things that are different. I feel like I might fall in that category and my family might be in danger if I'm too open about it. If I told my family I'm taking on pagan habits, out would come. Oh, you better be careful. Satan is out to deceive you. Satan is gonna drag you down. I definitely have a community here. I look around and I feel safe, that I don't have to hide who I am doing rituals and casting spells. I couldn't imagine a day without it. It's kind of fun that we can share paganism together. My daughter and I, both being pagan, helped connect us. The fact is we're all here together and we're all searching for meaning. We took all of our clothes and our jobs and everything away. We're all the same. It's just a different way of life. Normal is a very subjective sort of term for anybody because we're all quirky. We're all slightly crazy. For me, it is a form of freedom. I am a pagan. I am a part of the whole of nature. The rocks, the animals, the, animals, plants, the plants, the elements that are my relatives. I am a pagan. I pay attention to the seasons within myself. Beginnings, growth, growth fruition, harvest, endings, rest, rest and beginnings again. again. I, I am a pagan. pagan. My worship, my worship, worship is, is one of you, not wrong. We're all looking for answers. We don't claim that we have all the right answers, but we have the right answers for us. I live a normal life like everybody else, and I'm a pagan. <laughs>